నిర్మించుకున్నాడు పారిస్లోని ఓ బహుళ అంతస్తుల భవనం నాలుగో అంతస్తు బాల్కనీలో ప్రమాదకరంగా వేలాడుతున్న బాలుణ్ణి కాపాడి ఫ్రాన్స్కు హీరో అయ్యాడు పిల్లాడు ప్రమాదవశాత్తు జారి కిందకు పడిపోతున్న సమయంలో పక్కనే ఉన్న ఒకరు పిల్లాడి చేతిని పట్టుకుని కష్టం మీద కింద పడకుండా నిలువరించారు They call him a real life Spider-Man. Well, we the Israelites, man, will be the, 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 the superheroes, man. This is nothing outside of what we do. Okay? Or, or in, the, in the kingdom of heaven, we'll be, have the ability to do. We'll be able to do this and more. Okay? Let me show you where this is at. Mali is in West Africa. Okay? There you go. There's Mali. So when Jake came down, they don't have the whole thing, but when Jake came down fleeing Roman persecution, Jake is all in that area, okay? This whole Western, uh, this whole Western area, all right? Western Africa area, okay? You know, you go into it, Jake is all on the West Coast of Africa right there, all right? We settled into that area, and, and, and that's how you know that, um, And you can look at the spirit when you when you look at this guy. Let me see if I can get the image. It is it is Jake, man. This is Jake, right? It says Paris balcony boy family thank Molly Spider Man, Mama Do, Gasama, or something to that effect. Scaled the building as we watched there. As Elon was talking about it, which are you so called East Indians? The lady was talking about it in the news. But the family of a small boy dramatically rescued after dangling from a, par a balcony in Paris, France, have expressed their thanks to the Malayan man who saved him. He's a true hero, said the boy's grandmother. Now, let's, now here we go. It's about to say it right here. Yep, the four-year-old's father, who had left him in their flat and gone shopping, faces charges of failing to look after his child, reports say. They also say he was playing Pokemon Go while he was out there. So look, look at this man. This is Jake. That's Jake. Look at that man right there. That's Jake over there. Okay. And Macron from France, the president of France, thanked him. Now, but I want to get into these scriptures about this is nothing outside of what to be able to do in the kingdom of heaven. This is the, 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 the natural, because there were people on the next balcony that could have just grabbed the baby, but they couldn't do it. Look like Edomites or something like that, but they couldn't do it. But leave it to Jake. Jake instead didn't just reach over from the balcony. He climbed up four stories and snatched the baby from across, you know, from, from dangling off the edge. You know, four year old man. You know, it says uh Isaiah, cause we cause the Lord's gonna give us yeah, how about Shimmy out shot? Well, let me go back, man. Start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh by Shim Yah Shai by Shim Hawakakwadash. Double honor to the elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Shalawan. Salaki about that. Shalawan. Um, yeah, but man, Jake, you know, when, when the most high Yahweh Bashim Al Shah gives us spiritual power, man, we're gonna be able to do that. But instead of climbing, we could climb, but we're gonna be have the ability to fly up there and just pick the baby up. You know? Or put it or, or telepathy to tell a baby to climb back up there. It ain't going to be all that. And then Israelites not going to have that issue. Israelite children, Israelite families. Now, you you, you, you heathen, y'all going to have them problems, man. Y'all going to have those problems. Trying to figure things out and can't and need a hero to come around and and, and, uh, uh, and and save you. So on and so forth, man. But we Israelites are going to be those superheroes if we choose to save you. Okay? If it's in the spirit of us saving you. But I'm going to read these scriptures. I'm going to start up at, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 40. Um, yep, I'm going to start 20. It says, Have thou not known, has thou not heard, that the everlasting power, Yahweh the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? There is no searching of his understanding. He can't, he's too deep. And, and, and with his understanding, he knows he wants his people to share in that type of power. 
Okay, when they, when you look at movies like uh, uh, Hancock and you look at movies like Superman and, and all these X Men and different movies like that, with the, the, the not not Batman with the with the with the um, gadgets, I'm talking about with with, with special powers, man, the, the, with abilities and powers. That's the type of spiritual power that we're gonna have. Okay, it says he gives power to the faint, and if if the Israelites, you so called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, aren't the faint. You know, then who is, man? We're on the bottom, man. We're weary. We're overworked. We're stressed out. We're going through all kinds of tribulation. And we take it in stride the best we can. You don't see us having a little tribulation and, and jumping off cliffs and committing suicide. We just deal with it. Okay? We're the weary. Okay? North, Central, South Americans, all of those, man. We're the, we're the, we're the Israelite. We're Jake, okay? The sons of Jacob, it says. And to them that have no might, he increased strength. He increases strength. And it says that we should have no might in our hands when you go back into the curses. All right? So that's still talking about us. It says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. Because it said that about us in the um in the curses. All right? It says, but they that wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, the elect. All right? When we wait upon the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, we're going to get that power. Shall renew their strength. What type of, what do you mean renew their strength? We're going to go back to the ancient power we had, the spiritual power we had, when we kept these statute laws and commandments to the best of our abilities, and when we keep them perfectly, when the, when the Most High puts the, uh, the Spirit on us to keep the law perfectly, okay? We're going to get those blessings, those, 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 that power. It says, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, meaning being able to fly, okay? Like Superman and Hancock. We're going to be able to fly. They shall run and not be weary. We should be able to run like, uh, like the Flash, okay, and not be tired at all. Or even that other character, I forgot his name from the X-Men movies. It says, and they shall walk and not faint, okay? Shall walk and not faint. Another one, I'm going to go to Corinthians. No, I'm going to go to this one in Philippians. Then I'll go back to that one. In Philippians, that was the Old Testament, right? New Testament says, who's, um, let me see. Um, yeah, let me stop at verse 18. So for many walk of whom I have told you often and tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah, um, a lot of you two thirds, man, and the rest of the nations, man, you guys are the enemy of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, particularly you, you two thirds, okay, whose end is destruction, whose most high whose power is their belly, their own flesh, their own self, and whose glory is in their shame, who still uh, do shameful things. You're not going to inherit this or this go around. You'll get it later, but you're not going to inherit it in this time. When we start performing miracles, healing and flying and, and, and climbing, crazy, man, you guys ain't getting that, okay? Salvation, we get beamed up into the chairs. You're not getting that, Okay? It says, who mind earthly things? Because you're worried about the earthly, tangible things. And we're worried about the spiritual. The, the, you're worried about the carnal. We're worried about the spiritual, okay? For our conversation is in heaven. From whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach in particular, right? We're looking for him to come back in the clouds uh, uh, in his chariots, to crack the sky and to beam us up and to give us that power. Okay, it said, who shall change our vile body, these detestable bodies, uh, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. He could do all kinds of things with his glorious body. When he came back, after he had been in a, in a tomb for 40 days, you know, uh, for three days, I mean, on, he was on the a, on a scene for 40 days and 40 nights uh, uh, with, with spiritual power, man, with his glorified body. Okay, then he got beamed up. All right, and that's what we're hoping to to, uh, to to we're giving our diligence to to accomplish. Okay, so according to the working whereby he is able to even subdue all things. That means mind control over all the elements, man. That's spiritual power. Okay, so let me go into um into Corinthians now. It's another New Testament chapter of that actually taking place. Fifteenth chapter. 
I'm gonna start up around 40 and, and read it up and down to see. Um, yeah, here we go. Let me get to let me get to the point. Um, um, I'm gonna start at 47. It says the first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is of the Lord Yahweh from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also are the earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are the heavenly. And that's why I said our, our conversation is in, in the heavens. Because we have the heavenly conversation that we can have the type of body that will, will be uh, conducive to heavenly things. To being in that fourth dimension with the Most High God. When you read up in the 40th chapter, it gives you a little bit more about the 40. It says, there are also celestial bodies. That's the type of bodies that the angels have, okay? And bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. But we will be extraterrestrial, okay? It's going to go into that. Well, we have the glory of both. And that's an that's a, a, a amazing gift to get from Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, to get both. To get the earthly glory and the and the heavenly glory, the celestial glory. Okay, let me go back up. Um, yeah, I'm 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 uh. Let me go back to forty uh forty nine. It says, and as we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly, meaning we gonna have both extraterrestrial, terrestrial meaning from the terrain or from the earth. An extra meaning more than that, okay? Which which is only the celestial as well, okay? It says, Now I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High God, neither do corruption inherit in corruption. Um, let me, behold, I, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. The elect shall be changed. What does that mean? We're not all going to die, but we're all going to get new bodies. These extraterrestrial bodies, okay? So in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, as it said then, at the last trump, at the last moment, for the for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise incorruptible, and shall be changed into the um, into the uh, uh, the celestial or, or extraterrestrial body. Right? It says, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. And that's what this wisdom will give you. The incorruptible and the in immortality. Okay? It says, so when we, when this corruption shall be, shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. That shows you by keeping the laws perfectly, we get to be uh, uh, incorruptible. Okay? Keeps you away from corruption. And you and sin, the wages of sin is death. Okay? So we don't see death when, when we get that those uh, that it written in our, in our hearts. But the first to get that is the elect. Okay? But we're going to get those bodies, man. We're going to be able to climb and rescue people, babies or whatever else. We're going to be able to play with animals and not get hurt. I mean, like venomous predator animals, whether it be snakes and anacondas or lions. We're going to play with babies, going to play with lions and lions ain't going to eat them. You see, the special things, man. Those are some of the blessings that's coming. That's worth it to get on this side that you, without going through death by pain, they have to get on the other side. And only the Israelites can get it. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, the two thirds will even get it. But your other nations won't won't get it. OK. Confusion of faces will get it also because you're really Israelites as well. All right, that I'm gonna close out giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai Bashim Al Kakodash. Double honor to the elder apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom.